Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Lunar Rush channel. Um, I decided to do a speed draw because it was recently my birthday, and I got quite a lot of art things, I guess. Um, I got some new markers, which I'm showing you now, and a blender for them, and they're all brush markers from Windsor Newton. And I got a Faber-Castell um, small pen, black artist pen. And it's really nice, actually. Uh, and that's... Those are all from the same thing. And I got a sketchbook, but I didn't show it because I want to finish this one before I do anything in the other one. Because I've had a bad habit of that before. So. So, I just took all my markers and swatched them on this paper. Uh, they're all actually pretty bright or lighter colors which I really like because I don't really have many light purples which I have none now and this green is probably the lightest green I have it's called lush green it's super pretty but um the blue I'm also excited about because I can go along with my other blue that I got the sky blue but I just watched them try to use the blending thing I still have no idea how to blend but hopefully I'll learn that eventually um but yeah, <laughs> I was actually watching Mulan while I doodled this. It wasn't anything special because I wanted to watch the movie and just see what the colors looked like. They don't specifically look great together, but I think they're all pretty. And so, yeah, that's about it. This swatching took me too long to do and speeding up didn't even speed it up that much. <laughs> I was being really slow, but... That's about it for this part of it. So I doodled a picture of Mesa, and I'm about to line it here, um, and I actually really like the liner. It's really small, but it's really nice, and it doesn't bleed through all that much, or I don't even think it does, really, and it's really cool. I've never had anything Faber-Castell, but I've heard really good things about it, so I'm excited. Um, and I have a picture of Mesa in the corner, so you know who I'm drawing, what she looks like, um, and I updated her reference that I have online. I don't know if you ever guys ever saw her other one. But yeah. Oh dear. Sorry, my puppy just fell off the couch. <laughs> Here I started using the markers to color. I started out with the green and I tried to do, since I have the green and the purple, I tried to do closer to her original design. That's why I really wanted to draw her. And this green is super pretty, like I said, on paper. Um, it looks super dark at first, but then it dries to be brighter and it may just be my camera too, but it is a really pretty color. So I made sure to color it all in basically. And then I wanted to use the purple for in placement of where her darker purple hair would be. And as you can see, the green is lightening up. And I've always liked these types of markers. Windsor Newton brush markers are very good 
quality and they're not that expensive and I've never owned a Copic before so I don't have them to compare to that but um, as much as I don't want to say it they're better than my Spectrum Nors by a little <sighs> just cause don't let my Spectrum Nors sh but I'm still not great at uh, brush tips I've been getting more brush tips but I actually prefer bullet nips over brush tips I think you know how people say brush tips have more control and stuff, but with me, I think that's an opposite because they're so loose and everything that they just, they go everywhere and they're not even all that loose to me. It's, I don't know. I just have different opinions than other people when it comes to brush tips, but I'm trying to get better at them. It may just be because I'm not good at them. For her shading, I just used the blue because I didn't really have any colors that I could use for her shading otherwise. And I used it to shade the hair too and the shirt eventually. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I just used the purple again for her eye because I had no other colors. And I hope you enjoyed this video. The rest of this will just be music. Bye.